ready whenever you want. Yeah, you can sir, have I'm, I'm at your disposal. Okay. You, can, you can have him now. Good morning, everyone. Um, pleasure to be with you this morning. January 9th came quickly. Um, just give you a preview of, I guess, what I'll be talking about today, and it won't be a surprise to, to those of you that I've been talking to for the last few months. Um, I continue to be very concerned about the national economy, but uh, I don't have a lot to say about what they do at the federal government. But I am concerned also about the state's economy and the challenges that we have. And uh, as I look at how we rank from a regional perspective with the eight neighboring states that we have, I believe that we need to pursue a broad agenda if we are to be a leader in our region. And so earlier this year, as I thought about the things that I thought we needed to move forward on, visited with other members and their priorities and the ones that I shared, uh, developed the, the, the big solutions acronym BIG, build infrastructure, invest in education, and grow our economy. And so those are the items that I'll be talking about, is what each of those means. And uh, I'm going to start with the G first and grow our economy. And I'll be talking about moving forward and enacting reforms in economic development, tax policy, and addressing legal climate issues. And um, I believe that uh, as I look at the makeup of the Senate, the members that are coming back, those that are coming in, uh, there's reasons for great optimism that it's going to be a very productive year. And at the top of the list, I would put moving forward on comprehensive economic development and tax credit reform legislation. Um, I think Senator Justice can speak to the <coughs> pressures on the western side of the state. Those, that's not the only place uh, where uh, we're fighting to keep jobs or to to try to attract entrepreneurs and businesses to our economy. But I think with State Line Road, that's where it's clearly evident and how our policies uh, have us in a position where we're lagging other states and not leading. And so in Kansas last year pursued a, a, a very aggressive cut in income tax on small businesses. In the, in the Missouri Senate this year, we're going to pursue an income tax cut. And it needs to be done in a way that grows our economy. All these measures are to spur employment, get people working, to increase personal incomes so that people can take care of their families. And so cutting income tax will send a message to the rest of the country and those in the state of Missouri that Missouri is headed in the right direction. And we need to be responsible about how we do that. And I know that our senators both in committee and on the floor, we'll put good legislation together that we can move forward and send that message. So economic development, tax policy, and on legal climate, revisiting the, the workers' compensation system, addressing the second injury fund problem that we have, taking care of those people that have claims, so addressing that side, and then, and then going back and putting in place a workers' compensation where workers' compensation is the sole remedy for workplace injuries. So that's the grow our economy, invest in education. Uh, our members uh, on the Republican side have talked about the necessity um, to continue to invest in higher education and K through 12. Uh, we're seeing some budget growth now to the point where I think we're getting out of crisis management. We're gonna continue to find where we can restructure state government <coughs> and deliver services more efficiently, which is going to help us meet that commitment to education. Tax credit reform, reducing our exposure to tax credits and the economic development is going to help us meet that commit commitment to education. And then, you know, one thing I'm going to bring up, which we're going to have to identify the revenue stream, but moving forward on a new investment in classroom and research facilities. I want to include that vocational technology. Not every person in Missouri is cut out for a four-year degree. And there are good paying jobs, which we just need people to be qualified for them. So supporting VOTEC, I think, is something that we need to talk more about. And on infrastructure, um, we need to move forward on a new transportation plan for the state of Missouri. Uh, I'll outline in, in my remarks today uh, several things that are occurring that are driving down consumption. And we have a consumption-based tax. We've still got the same number of lane miles in the state of Missouri, but the 
revenue that we have to take care of those roads is declining. And so we need to collectively come together and put forward a solution when the, that we can then go forward and get the public's support for it. Explain the problem and, and have them support a solution which is going to take care of our long-term transportation needs in the state of Missouri. As you look at us geographically on a map, Missouri being in the center of the country, we should be a hub for the movement of goods and services. And we need to have an infrastructure system that can handle that activity. And so it's time to move forward on the transportation plan. Those are, those are, those are just a few of the items that I'm going to be talking about or that are priorities of mine and a number of the members of the Senate share. And uh, I look forward to this year, and I um, believe, once again, that with the membership that we have, it's going to be a very good year for the state of Missouri. Thank you. I'll allow uh, Majority Leader Richard.